Hey, my fellow YouTubers, welcome back to my nursing channel, Merce Montez, M-U-R-S-E-M-O-N-T-E-Z. And today we're going to be talking about pros and cons of psychiatric nursing facilities and is suicidal attempts a thing? So, a pro for you, uh, pay. Of course, I'm going to mention that because everybody wants to know that. That's one of the first things people ask, especially coming out of nursing school. What's the pay like? What's the pay like? Well, you might have to watch another video for that one. I'm not going to give you specifics on pay, but I will tell you that when you specialize in mental health nursing, the pay generally tends to be a lot higher because of the skill set and because of sometimes it can be very dangerous in the facilities. Um, Another pro I'll give you is that you don't have to wear scrubs. Well, I take it back. Certain places you do have to wear scrubs. But at the one I'm starting a contract with today, you don't have to wear, well, not today. Um, not today, a lot. Let's just say the one I've already started because I actually have already started it. You don't have to wear scrubs. You just have to be casual. You know, you have to wear your, of course, be nice, neat, and clean. So what I like to do is I like to do uh, the collar shirts uh, with my nice belt. I'll tuck my shirt in, maybe some dress pants, slacks, maybe not dress shoes. Though tennis shoes is what I'll use because at the end of the day, sometimes you got to kind of run. You got to be on your feet. And as a matter of fact, that's the second con for you is making sure you're on, re on go. And what I mean by that is that sometimes the kids, the adults, they will try you. And you just got to be ready. And, and in terms of being ready, uh, there are specific holes and maneuvers you'll learn as a result of being in a psychiatric facility. I can't actually share them with you specifically because they're actually against HIPAA laws to show you. You've got to actually work in the facility to learn them. In different areas you go, it's gonna be different moves, it's gonna be different styles, but everywhere you go, there's always a plan in place for restraint, for holes, or for de-escalating a situation. Now, another con is that sometimes you're going to run into suicidal attempts, homicidal attempts. People are going to cut themselves. People are going to do anything that they possibly can to hurt themselves. And the reason being is that some of them actually do it out of spite. Some of them do it because it's a way of relieving pressure. I know a lot of um, people that I've taken care of told me that they cut themselves. It's their way of releasing pressure or that's their way of dealing with pain. Now, what pain specifically? Well, that might be safe for another video. I have to let you know about that one. But um, things to do if you do run into a suicidal attempt is making sure that you respond as fast as you can because they pass away. That's kind of going to be on you. Um, luckily, I've never had one pass away on me, but I have had many have attempts of suicide on me. As a matter of fact, one wanted to cut themselves and make themselves bleed enough to where they would pass away. But... The lying issue behind that was more so based on the fact that they haven't seen their family in a long time. So people are dealing with a lot of things these days and you never really know, but that can cause so much mental issues to the point that it may drive you to homicide, it may drive you to a suicidal attempt, I mean. But at the end of the day, that's the beauty of working in a psychiatric facility. You get to learn these people, you get to understand these people, and sometimes you may think you have it bad, but you never know how bad you have it until somebody else has it worse than you. Let me rephrase that. You never know how good you have it until somebody else shows you that you actually have it great. Like your life is actually not as bad. But these are things that you're gonna see in a psychiatric facility. It's gonna help you have a better understanding of life in general. To be honest with you, people, they can teach you lessons. If you are willing to listen, if you're not one of those high and mighty, I know everything, I don't need you to teach me because you are 
and a mental institution. But what you don't understand is that some people, before they got there, were actually sane, just like you. Just like you. Hold up. But something happened in their life to where it caused them to be as such. So what we do as mental health professionals is we treat them. We help them to regain their sanity if they can. And that's the beauty of it. So there you go. Two pros, two cons, suicidal attempts. Please like and subscribe. And if you want me to go deeper into what it's really like working in a psychiatric facility, I will. Let me know. Instagram me, grind216, G-R-I-N-D, 216. This is Mercer Montez, M-U-R-S-E-M-O-N-T-E-Z, out. Thank you.